What's up guys, this is Chronic Rush HD and welcome to the 5th um, installment of my FIFA 13 Team of the Season Squad Prediction Series and um, today I, it's kind of, um, EA have kind of um, swung in a curveball in the fact that uh, last year in FIFA 12, sorry, um, they in the Team of the Seasons they put leagues together so they did the basically the English leagues and then did the Northern Europe League, Southern European Leagues, and then went into MLS and all that stuff. But um, it's been said that EA have uh, doing eight squads, which is okay. But also from last week's team of the season, which was just the Bundesliga, it's kind of put like it's changed things that now we know they're probably going to do the bigger leagues in like separate. So I'm thinking that maybe they're going to be doing the Celia A next which is going to be on the screen now so these are basically my predictions of the Serie A team of the season basically um i've got statistics for all the players i've looked at um like some uh, i'm not sure uh, websites and companies have done their own like football um, statistic websites and stuff like that um football magne magazine sorry have done their own team of the week predict um, team of the season prediction, sorry. So um, I've kind of had a look at them as well, just just see how close my team, my predictions were as well. I'm not really a big follower of the Serie A. I'm always once in a while checking the results. Obviously, if you guys don't know, Juventus absolutely stomped it. Um, a bit like Bayern Munich, um, they just absolutely terrorised Serie A. I don't think it has a big of a points gap, but hence the reason why most of the players may be Serie A, um, Juventus players. But um, let's get into the squad. And as you can see here, uh, these are the, my predictions, my predictions on the ratings and also the subs. I haven't actually changed their um, player stats on the cards. They just changed their main rating. So remember that when we get onto them. But um, in goal, we have Buffon, the Juventus goalkeeper, starting keeper. Um, he's play, He's got 16 clean sheets and um, Juventus have got 19 clean sheets in total. So he's played a very, very big and important role in that. Um, 19 clean sheets, hence the reason they're so dominant in the Serie A. And he's got 74 saves, which isn't the biggest amount, but still a decent amount of saves. Um, moving on to the defence, we have Benucci, the first one um, on the right sided. He's played 33 games, which is um, probably, I think, um, I'm not 100% sure on how many um, teams are actually in the Serie A, but that is a very, very good amount of um, games. Um, compared to the teams in there, so he's played a lot of games, and again, he's been pretty solid at the back, um, making, um, being solid in the actual getting Juventus's 19 clean sheets. Moving on to the second centre back, we have Balazaghi. I'm not 100% sure on these pronunciations either, etc. The Italian ones and stuff like that. I'm not very good with that stuff, but um, he's got one assist and 14 clean sheets. Again, he's played like something like 32 games, 33 games. And he's also been in six of the Serie A Team of the Weeks. Um, not related to the FIFA Team of the Weeks whatsoever. Um, EA Team of the Weeks, sorry, whatsoever. Just the um, Serie A League itself. He's been in six of them. He's got one assist and 14 clean sheets. Again, participated in Juventus's 19 clean sheets this season. And moving on to the second turn back. Some player you may have not seen. He's called Rodriguez. He plays for Florentina. And he's got 11 clean sheets, six goals and two assists. Which is pretty, pretty decent. And, uh, yeah, I was looking through them and couldn't really find another centre-back and then stumbled across them. You could also see Chiellini. I'm not 100% sure on how EA are going to do this. Because um, I've seen sometimes, and in Team of the Weeks and stuff like that, they, they obviously want your money in all the coins. So they're going to put the better players in. So um, I think in one of the Team of the Weeks, Thiago Silva, he got like, a, I think he may have got a goal or something, a man of the match. And um, they gave him in the team the see um, team the week sorry and uh, he probably didn't deserve it compared to the other players but um, I may, they may put Chiellini in he's he's had a decent season I think he's had been out and um, not as played as many games been out a bit injured and stuff like that uh, but um, he still played a fair few games got a fair few clean sheets for Juventus but uh, if they're going to do that system and trying to get coins they're definitely going to put Chiellini in because he's probably one of the better centre backs in the Serie A. So that's just my opinion. Um, that's why, um, uh, what's he called, Chiellini isn't actually on that starting 11, as you can see there. Or in the subs, it's just a note that maybe he could be there, could be not there. My opinion, he's not. he doesn't deserve to be there. He hasn't played that many games. Well, I wouldn't say deserve, but he hasn't played as well compared to the other um, options. Moving on to the CDM, shall I say. Um, the first one is going to be Adulo Vidal, the 
Chilean um, Juventus player, and he's an absolutely fantastic player in FIFA, and he's had a really, really good season. He's got 10 goals, 8 assists, and been absolutely solid defensively, and he's been in 5 Team of the Weeks um, for the Serie A. Uh, he's got uh, two inform, no, one inform card as well in FIFA, and he's also in the Team of the Year predictions from the website or football magazine goal.com. So um, go and check gold.com. That's kind of hard to say, but uh, go and check gold.com for um, their prediction of the team of the week. And uh, he, he was placed in there the same as um, uh, Balzaghi as well. He was placed in their predictions as well. But uh, I think he's going to get an inform card, uh, team of season card, and he's going to be a fantastic player. Already he's an absolute star in the CDM, and I would love to pick him up. But he may go for quite a bit. Moving on to the second holding midfielder, should we say, we have Pirlo, the um, legend himself, should I say. He's got five goals and the seven assists, and he's just been uh, made so many. Uh, he's got, I think he's got an exceptionally high, um, successful pass rate or something like that. And he's just had a really, really good season. Um, uh, I, I, there's not much else to say. He's just had a good season, um, contributed to many of the goals, passing it, just been pretty solid in the position he plays in. Moving on to the right mid slash right wing spot, um, we have Elik Lamella, 15 goals and five assists, which is pretty pretty nice. He's got he's more he's kind of like a, a winger plus striker in that area, but um, still 15 goals, very very good, and five assists that is decent as well. Very very good um, performance by him. Moving on to the left mid slash left wing position, we have El Shawari, the AC Milan young. Um, star who's going to be coming up uh, absolute talent he is 16 goals and four assists so um, he's been in six team of the weeks as well and he's also in the goal.com team of the season um, but um, he again had a fantastic season um, and uh, both these wingers have had really good um, uh, what's it called assists and goals so um, I think they're definitely going to get um, some inform card uh, team of season cards I keep saying inform does it does it matter guys if I say inform instead of team of season I don't think it makes much difference but um, I think they're definitely going to get the cards and they'll be really really nice to do play with um, moving on to the centre attacking mid, we have Hamsic, plays for Napoli. He's got 11 goals and 14 assists, and he's the top assists maker, should we say, in the Serie A. He's had a fantastic season. He's got two informed cards as well, I think, in FIFA, and has made 10 team of the weeks for the Serie A. Very, very good performance by him. And he's been in most, like, all the team of the week predictions I've seen on the internet and stuff like that. He's been in them all. I, I can see this guy getting a, um, a team of the season card. He's been absolutely fantastic um, this season. And uh, he, he looks like a very, very good player as well. All-rounded, very well-rounded stats. Got decent pace, I think. I'm not quite sure. Let me. I think he used to have decent pace in FIFA 12. Let me have a quick look. Uh, well, he's not the highest, but in his team of the season, card, it should go up to about 80, which would be fairly decent, and he'll be a very, very good player, I think. And moving on to the attack force, the two final players of this starting 11. The first one is going to be Di Natale, the Udinese um, striker. He's got 23 goals and 4 assists. He's the second top goal scorer in the Serie A. He's got 7 Team of the Week appearances for the Serie A, and he's also in most of the Team of the Week um, team of the season predictions I've seen as well, so I think he's going to get it as well. And partnered up front is going to be um, Cavani, who's had an absolutely fantastic season: 29 goals, four assists, top goal scorer, and six team of the weeks he's been in. Um, he's had an absolutely fantastic season, um, uh, scoring all the goals and stuff like that. And uh, I, I can definitely see him getting a team of the season card at 100%. Moving on to the substitute guys, like I said before, I move on. All the in games, or well, all the card stats, shall I say, are not changed. It's just their overall level. So the first player is going to be Handanovic, I think. I'm not 100 sure on that pronunciation. But he plays for Internationalize, um, goalkeeper, and he's had a fantastic season. Internationalize, uh, not performing very well at all. They're kind of in a bit of a struggle, but um, he's been playing very, very well, trying to get them just to motivate them in the fact, like just trying to get save, save so many games for them. Um, try, he's, if he wasn't, if someone else was in goal, maybe a bit worse than them, um, they would be so like the games would be horrible to watch the scoreline. But he's got nine clean sheets, and that is pretty good for a weak defence and 115 saves. So that's been absolutely fantastic by him. And I, I could see him being on the starting eleven. I'm not 100 percent sure on Buffon, but um, still, he's had a, 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 a oh my god, a, 
a, amazing season. Jesus, <laughs> I couldn't think of the right adjective to describe there. But um, moving on to the next substitute, we have Lick Steiner. Lichtensteiner, I'm not quite sure how you pronounce that. Um, he's the Swiss wing back or full back, shall I say. Um, he's got, uh, where is it, uh, four goals and two assists and also played a very, very important role. I think he's like their starting player in their like defence, shall I say, in, in Juventus' defence. He's played a lot of, like, 28 games as well, which is pretty high for him. Um, like uh, right backs in that lot because they can always be swapped around and stuff like that. So I think you could get an informed card pretty decent. Uh, moving on to the third sub, we got this player called uh, Lijaki. I'm not quite sure how I I always get this pronunciation wrong. I don't know what it is about these Serbian names. Um, L and J just doesn't work together. Um, but um, he plays as a central deck in mid, like a attacking player. Plays for Florentina and uh, last team of the week number 36, I think it was. He got a inform card. So. Um, I was thinking of it, I was looking through, I couldn't really find any other players. Um, as you can see, there's pl upcoming players are just so many attacking. It was kind of hard to find a midfielder, but I decided to go for him. And um, he's got 11 goals and 8 assists, so that's pretty decent for a centre attacking mid, centre mid player. So I thought, let's put him in, maybe you could get one. He could be the cheaper like option. And uh, uh, I want, I'm, I want most, most of these players to go for cheap. Uh, looking on it, they're not going to, I can just tell you that already. Uh, I think Fernandez maybe, the... Um, so this centre back here, he may go for quite a bit of cheap because uh, if you don't know, go and check out my channel. I'm going to be doing team of the season player reviews for all the team of the season players I can pick up. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to pick up like um, team of the season Ribery or players like that because they go for absolute fortunes and I don't have the coins. But um, I'm going to go for all. I'm going through all the team of the season consistent players. Um, try and go for the low level uh, Bundesliga and Barclays Premier League players and hopefully Smart can do more of these they may be the cheaper option moving on to the fourth substitute we have Palacio uh, the international is a, um, attacker shall I say he's got 12 goals and 5 assists he could have been um, there instead of uh, Eric Lamella but I decided to put Lamella oh my god um, Lamella in instead because he's got 15 goals and 5 assists I thought Malela. oh my days I cannot pronounce Lamella it's really hard. Um, okay, La Mella, there you go. I thought he played better than Palacio in the whole season. Moving on to the fifth option, we have Francesco Totti, the um, attacker. Again, fairly old now. Uh, 32 pace. It's not the nicest to see on a card because I bet he goes for discard value. But um, he's got, uh, where is it here? 12 goals and 12 assists. That is very, very nice from the centre forward. I think he can get an inform card as well, but he will probably go for fairly cheap. Obviously, his pace is not going to go up a lot. Uh, moving on to the sixth substitute, we have Jovetic, the guy who's been in the transfer news all the time. I've got no idea where he wants to go now, but um, he's got 13 goals and 5 assists. Um, he's been uh, he's been like the main goal scorer for Florentina, I think, so... Um, he could get in it. He's been a fairly decent player this season. Uh, moving on to the final substitute option, guys. We have a player called Osvaldo. He plays for Roma. Um, and uh, he's got, uh, where is it here? 16 goals and 2 assists. And he's the third highest goal scorer. That's why I put him in. I was trying to find another player. And I thought, um, he's played fairly decent this season. Uh, being the main goal scorer for Roma. And I thought he could have a shot at getting the team of the season card. The final card up for grabs there in my prediction, guys. So this is the end of my prediction, guys. These are just my predictions. I'm going to repeat that. My predictions. These are definitely not the ones that will be coming out tomorrow on the 29th of May, I think. And the, the silly ad team of the week season sorry, might not even come out. Um, it could be like, um, I'm thinking it was it's going to most likely be this one. Um, uh, or it could be the French one. I can't see it being the Liga BVA one because that um, league hasn't actually finished yet. Um, the Barclays Premier League and Bundesliga have finished, so they're done, and um, their team of the season come out. I'm not quite sure what they're going to do. Um, they could, um, like, I'm, I'm thinking they're going to, like, uh, I'm not quite sure. They maybe put um, tomorrow's team of the season all into, like, all the rest of Europe. So, like, France, the Serie A, um, uh, the Holland League and stuff like that. So, I'm not 100% sure. Um, this is just a prediction. I'm just predicting the Serie A. I'm going to go for the main leagues because uh, I'm not quite sure how they're going to do it. Because, like I said, um, in FIFA 12, they'd split it up into Northern Europe League, Southern Europe League. And uh, doing the Bundesliga um, separately, I can't see them doing it this um, year. So, I'm not quite sure what I'm doing what they're going to be doing or releasing the squad tomorrow. But I've decided just to do a predictions for the Serie A. I may be able to do a prediction for the French League 1 today and uh, put it up before 
Wednesday or tomorrow, depending on when you watch this and when I put it up. But um, I've also got a team of the week number 37 coming out, which I think is going to probably be the last team of the week. I'm not 100% sure, but uh, most of the leagues are finishing off. Um, uh, the Liga BVA have got one more game. I think the uh, French League have finished now. I'm not 100% sure. But um, basically, I haven't got enough players to do a full squad, shall I say. But uh, I've got the players that could be in there, possibility. Mainly, most of them are Liga BVA, um, French League and MLS. And that's about it, guys. So go and check my channel out if you want to have a look at who may come out tomorrow in the Team of the Week. But um, guys, this has been Chronic HD. If you've got any suggestions, any players that could be in this squad, uh, put that in the comments. And um, remember to subscribe for upcoming episodes um, for my more Team of the Season uh, predictions and the final Team of the Week prediction I'm thinking. So, guys, this has been Chrono Till next time, adios!